It's Tuesday, April 25th, 2023. I am here, you are here, so we must all be in the right place. Good evening. We will now begin the VPC Valley Photo Club Zoom membership meeting after just a few words. VPC is a group that collaborates on photos, ideas, critiques, and techniques. VPC holds monthly Zoom meetings such as this one, where suggestions on improving photographs are heard. We do have guest speakers from time to time, and they present a short learning session on cameras, gear, and software, et cetera. If you know of someone that can speak to us in an upcoming meeting, or you would like to share something about your photography or your workflow or your new hardware purchases, please contact me and let me know. We'll set it all up. You know, VPC requires no dues for membership. Currently, there is no plan for that to change. <clears throat> VPC is not a nonprofit 501c3. VPC is of its membership and for its membership. And thank you for your participation tonight. I want to let everyone know that I've had a that we have a few new members and that I am thankful for their interest and their participation in the Valley Photo Club. I also want to share that the Memorial Day parade is going to occur, I forget the day, I think it's May 5th, on Sherman Way. And VPC actually has a couple of banners on the street poles there. So get out your cameras and take a picture of that because that's a big deal. What artwork did they use, Jay? I wonder. <laughs> I really yeah. do wonder. What did, what did you give them? I gave them what you gave me last. Okay, well. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope they don't screw it up. Right. I also did want you to say May 5th? Can, let me let me get through this. That's I also wish to share that I have received unsolicited compliments from membership and those that have seen VPC's YouTube recordings. They have used words to describe our photos. Those words are breathtaking, whimsical, beautiful art, life, and inspirational. I hope we can keep up this great work. Next month, our topic is going to be open and the special topic, beach. Simply meaning you can take pictures of surfers. You can take pictures of Sally selling seashells by the seashore. You can take pictures of ladies in bikinis, men in, well, hopefully not, you know, in those little skimpy things. What do they call them? No, don't do that. Marble sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so... Be creative with your beach photos. Uh, just want to see sand and ocean. Uh, I guess you could also have the beach of a lake. Be creative. Now we're going to begin the meeting. We have a slideshow, and then we're going to view 25 photos in total, with which 11 are our special topic, pareidolia. Can you all say pareidolia? Pareidolia. No, we, if anything, we learned to expand our vocabulary with VPC Photo Club, correct? Paranoia. Let me go ahead and share. <laughs> paranoia. Yeah, paranoia. Paranoia. Let me go ahead and share this screen. Not to annoy you. Screen two. Optimize sound, optimize video. And here is our clip. Can you all see red? Mm -hmm. yep.
<clears throat> Our first photo, Antelope Valley Wildflower. Yeah. That is I missed it this year. <laughs> Me too. It's still going on. It, it's later. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I just okay. went about a week ago, last last Monday. Ah, okay. And it was so windy there. Yeah. In fact, we didn't go into the, well, we started to go in the parking lot for the the reserve, and it was so busy, and we just turned around and went down the road, not even half a mile, and just walked up a road, and they were everywhere. Didn't have to worry oh. about parking. It was just, but it was very but windy. Did you say it was during the week? Yeah, it went Monday. Monday, and it was busy, yeah? Hmm. Well, if you were in the Antelope Valley Reserve, it was. Okay. Uh, okay. But we there's lots of places on the way there for a good maybe maybe even couple, a mile and a half that you oh. see them everywhere. And you see people walking in them, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that, that was disturbing to me when I saw people trampling the flowers. Yes, yeah. And all, all for a picture. I saw somebody, so I saw a picture that somebody else took of a woman who actually had a bunch of flowers that I'm assuming she picked up from, you know, just <laughs> there. And I was like, that's unbelievable. I can't remember, <laughs> I can't remember the name of the field. But they actually closed it this year. Yes. Yeah. Near yeah the it's, uh, no, there's a few down near uh, Temecula that uh, they literally closed the trail. Yeah. Because, I thought Laguna too. Yeah, oh. because uh, people were trampling all over the place. And uh, they, they encountered some snake too, which is like weird because, uh -huh. you know, they still hibernate at right now when it's cold they were disturbed i presume yeah i mean you know they don't start to the weather get a bit warmer but Last... i mean now 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 around here uh you should drive on any country road and it's just you can just see it you know driving by a lot of them i was Keep out on hiking on tuesday and i ran into a four and a half foot uh, Rattler, it was in fact crossing the trail, just waited for him to slither away. It was no problem, but yeah. it's a little freaky. <laughs> but there's a lot right now. Wow, and I heard because of the rain, the snakes yep. are really out. And we know somebody whose uh, son got bitten by one, so you got to be careful. Oh, okay. speaking oh, of snakes, I actually see one in this photo. Well, I mean, uh, a little bit of clouds snaking around here. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. The little yellow snake trail here leading, <laughs> us, leading us to these overgrown shrubs. The color here is just amazing. How yeah. nice yeah. it's it's beautiful and the yellow and you bring in this green in your photo with a few foxtails here that are highly defined. I like that. And then it all just in the mid ground and then just in the foreground. I'm sorry, in the background becomes just just illuminated yellows and oranges. It's just beautiful, this capture here. Thank you. Uh, Helen took some nice one too, I saw, she posted. Who is that? Uh, Helen, Helen. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we, uh, we were talking about, uh, about golf, something about, um, Golden or whatever. I think, I think, discuss. But anyway, yeah, there's a lot of them out here. I'm going to move on to the next photo, whose title is also Antelope Valley. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh plain. Nice snow. Nice. It's almost monochrome. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, it almost is. 
Almost. When was this picture taken? I don't know. The maker is not here tonight. Oh, okay. I just wondered whether it was like a couple of weeks ago. I was trying to figure out whether there was more snow than uh, than before. Thank you. But yeah, it's really cool. I'm reading something funny on Facebook. It was a sad and disappointing day when I discovered my universal remote control did not, in fact, control the universe. <laughs> <laughs> the composition is very good. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't see the tail numbers on the plane. Oh. I'm being picky picky. No, I like it. <laughs> I like it. The only thing I would have done different was slow the shutter down to get some drag out of that prop. It's the only comment I have, but I'm assuming that this was just, oh, look, there's a plane. And <laughs> no over the beautiful time. mountains. Yeah, over yes. the mountain and no real time to set a slower shutter speed. But that's, if, if this photo was intentional, I would assume that the maker of the photo would drag that prop what drag the prop slow down the shutter so we could see some blur on the prop i've taken a couple of great photos i thought they were great of fire helicopters putting out a fire in my neighborhood and i thought they were going to be fantastic and i was going to share them until i realized that helicopter's falling out of the sky i froze its prop you know what i mean and it just, it didn't look like it was flying anymore. So I've kind of learned from that. Hmm. Well, next time use AI for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a contest. We're going to move on. I mean, we're going to move on yeah. to the next photo. Yeah, it's our third photo, and it's titled Between Life and Death. See if I can get my cursor over to the second monitor. There we go. Yeah. Ah, uh, I see. There we go. I get it. Yeah, I got it. Very wabi sabi. Yes. Yes. Nice. Very wabi sabi. Yes. There's a great group on Facebook, wabi sabi. <laughs> yes. Excellent. When I first uh, looked at this uh, photo, I actually, it reminded, maybe not, re reminded is probably a strong word, but I thought about, of, uh, I thought about like a woman dancing. I thought it was kind of cool. Oh, yeah. yeah it looks like it. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, that's a great first thing. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. A top leaf is hair and the bottoms are the arms or legs, yeah. Yeah, I see right here is the figure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's the head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shoulder yeah. and probably her, her, her flowing dress. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is really Very graceful. Yeah, very graceful. Great eye. Clear that, Tom. I did. Uh, how do I clear it? <laughs> <laughs> you know how to you know how to draw with crayons, but you don't know how to clean up. <laughs> Mr. No. <laughs> I did clear. Okay. Yeah, you did clear. Yeah. Very nice. I see. Nice. Getty Lines and Girl. Yes. That is really something I love else. the shadows. I love it in black and white. It's really interesting. Um, yeah, I'd be biased if I say I love it in black and white. I do but, too. Yeah, a lot of uh, uh, patterns in shadow. Yes, nice lines and shadows. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like it a lot. 
Uh, yeah, and trying to figure you. out which chair is an actual chair and which one is just a shadow. <laughs> yeah, you've got a point there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's probably why nobody's sitting with her. They're afraid. Of <laughs> I mean, you can sit the uh, crop out of here and still look good. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Can you repeat? You can just crop out the 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 little uh, girl there, the young lady there, and uh -huh. she still uh, a good picture. Ah, uh, uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Uh, but I never crop out a young lady. I would. <laughs> good. Yeah, what a gentleman. It, it <laughs> tells more of a story if you have that young lady in there. Yeah. yeah. That she's uh, she's having a good yeah, party and still on her phone Facebooking. <laughs> yeah, the problem is uh, it's too kind of busy, so I'm just you know focused on the uh, on the left hand. Yeah, because it, it draw my eye there, so she kind of like uh, you know redundant. And then I have a criticism is. for it. Over on the right hand side, the chair is just you know touching the edge of the photograph. Well, it, it's actually, uh, there's a uh, umbrella pole going right up there. And that's as uh -huh. far out as I could go. Ah. Uh -huh. You can see the shadow for the base towards the bottom right, so you can tell. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Good thing you caught that out. I like it. Yeah, that will be. Yeah. <laughs> I like it a lot. It's very contrasty, very, it's just, it's, it's eye candy. Pretty good. It's eye candy. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Very nice, Bill. Very nice. Yeah. Nice. Our next one, hard times. I'll delay showing it so you guys can use your imagination. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Got two girls, my gosh. <laughs> and cup. They didn't mind you taking the picture. Look didn't at this, see it. <laughs> look at this look. Yeah. And look at that look. Wow. I want to know yeah, if Deanna they're was each other. So. <gasps> two guys looking at one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the guy who's got his arms cr across it, you can see if you look at his hand, he's, he's making a fist. Yes. Yeah, a fist. Yes. Not happy. <laughs> a lot of tension in that photo. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good capture. Oh. Yeah. Did you see Pretty it for cold. a while before the picture? What went on? I don't think the maker's here. Oh, Deanna's not here? Yeah. The maker yeah. isn't here. Oh, that's a shame. Deanna, yeah. yeah. I would have liked to have known the backstory. Yeah, yeah, this is. I mean, you don't have to have it, but it would be interesting to know. If it comes yeah. in, we're going to go back to this picture if that's okay with everyone. Great. Our next yeah. picture. Sure. Titled High Noon. Oh, the Gary Cooper. Oh. Oh, oh. nice. That is nice. Beautiful. I think so. Uh, they, they should wait to uh, sub submit this next month. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> if they were that, psychic. That, that, yeah, that is beautiful. Maybe we're going to see it again. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe subliminally that's what gave me the idea for Beach. Yep. That's what I was going to say. You never know how the mind works. That might very well be why I came up with that topic. I don't know. Yep. I don't know. I didn't spend a lot of time this month reviewing the photos. I did them all as one batch. I think those of you that received your email that I received your photo will tell you that I did that, what, this morning? Yep. Yeah. yeah. That was my first time to look at all the photos was this morning. <laughs> oh, dear. A lot of work. Gaviota? Maker? I don't know if the maker's here. And that's odd. He's usually at all the meetings. Is that Jerry? 
you know his style, don't you? Well, I know he went up to, uh, he, he went that way. I wasn't quite sure this isn't necessarily his style to me, but. What's this? Where's this? It's a picture by Jerry Coward. Where, yeah, but where's that? Where? No, we're more yeah, it's, I think it's Gaviota or, or Ray Fugio oh. uh, along the coast between uh, um, Santa Inez and Santa Barbara. Yeah. I'm just observing how well the lens flare works in this photograph. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, when they're taking pictures and they see their photograph afterwards, when they come home, they are disturbed by the lens flare. And I think it many times adds to the drama of a photo. <laughs> I like that. My only suggestion would have been to take this little white spot out right here. Just, just a patch. Yeah, it's always good to take a walk around all the edges. Yeah. <clears throat> this was a very delayed eye catch for me. But a heavy on the vignette also. Yeah, but it 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 yeah. it's a simple correction. Even I can do it. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> cloning tool, right? Oh, you're just cloning around. <laughs> And our next photo is photographer a jokes. <laughs> our next photo is a familiar guy. <laughs> oh, hey. So where were you guys, maker? Where were you when this photo was taken? Oh, the ground. I think it's the Plaza de Mexico or something like that. Uh, I can't remember the, the name of it. Um, did you have tacos? Yeah. No, you didn't have tacos at that place. No, uh, we had something else. I, I can't remember that. It was, I can't remember the name, uh, the name of the place, gonna but um, gonna shrink it down. It'll come to me. Yeah, I love it. I love the drama of the sky against yeah. the profile. Yeah, I was, uh, I was very happy at uh. I'd be able to uh, recover that highlight in post because uh, it was totally uh, blue, totally white. Those are not AI, <laughs> those are actually cloud. So I was pretty happy that I'd be able to get on the detail out of the highlight I uh, the cloud. Mm -hmm. oh. That's a wide range. Yeah, it's uh, pretty wide. So I guess it took every penny I pay into it <laughs> for the camera. Excellent job in post. Now, now that I know your secret. What's that? Now that I know your secret, that's an excellent job in post. To bring that bring. Oh. Highlights out, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, that depends on what equipment you use, though. Be before, I still ha have a lot of, you know, um, I couldn't recover with with a little bit cheaper, uh, uh, lower resolution camera, like the, you know, the crop sensor, 24 megapixel, you know, I couldn't do it. And cheap Japanese lens, I mean, cheap Chinese lens. You know, this is uh, taken with the Leica, so full frame, 50 megapixel, uh, German optics. Nicely done. I'm going to move on to the next photo. Moody Blue Spring. Oh, nice. Ooh. I think I should say again, Moody Blue Spring, Florida. Wow. Gorgeous. Yes, it is. 
Another monochrome. <laughs> Keep your toes out of the water. I think it should be Moody Green Spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. So the name of a place is actually Blue Spring. That's why. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's why I called it like that. But yeah. And you know, the other thing that I meant to ask you guys is so if you look at the top uh, left hand corner, there's a bit of a sky peeking through. Mm -hmm. And I can, kind of wasn't quite sure whether to leave it in or not. So I, in the end, I kind of left it in because I figured that then you could see overall there's like a hard shape. Yeah. But I'm wondering whether with that it would have actually looked better. So. I no, it, it's just fine with that. What it's bothered me is that, sorry, what bothered me is that orange thing in the middle. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's to keep the manatees in. But yeah, I didn't see that. So yeah, cool. Thank you. Yeah. It's a, yeah. That's, more, that's more an eye catch than the sky is. Yeah. It's, okay, cool. it's kind of like, Boom, I see that kind of out of place, I guess. I yeah, know. once you see it, you can't unsee it. Now I, yeah, now I see it. So yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Did you actually see manatees? I did. Oh, I did. Cool. Yeah, so uh, I, I can send you a couple of pictures. I, I did see them, but from uh, from a distance because um, it was the time when they were breeding or something like that. So they kept them all in with that red thing. So uh, we, we were a fair uh, bit away. But yeah, but I did get to see them. Uh, and uh, I, I would recommend it to anyone who's kind of like in Orlando. It's about an hour's uh, drive away from Orlando up north. And it's, it's a beautiful place. It's called Blue Springs State Park or something like that. Oh, that's a mosquito. You know what? When I was there, I didn't see any. But oh, uh, and I normally I'm normally the person that gets them. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the operative you, thing. You used a wide angle lens there. Uh, I, you know what? I can't remember. That's that's possible. Mm. I would have to look. I, I can look it up and let you know. Mm, okay. Here's what you used. You're at 165 millimeter. So yes, it must have been my 55 to uh, 210. It was your 55 to 210. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Last line on that. Mm -hmm. It's a Sony. Yes. Nice picture. Nice. Nice picture. Hi. Thank you very much. And we go from Florida. We go from Florida in the afternoon to morning in Cuba. Nice. Oh, I nice. like the colors. That's really interesting. Did you get the order right? <laughs> <laughs> I love the expression on both faces. You can uh, almost hear them talking. Capture. Yeah. yeah. You can almost hear them talking to each other. Oh. Oh. It looks like you have a uh, flat tie in the front tie. Yeah. <laughs> you see the guy peeking around the corner here? Yeah. <laughs> now I do. Well, now I do, oh, yeah. yeah. That's neat. Oh, I didn't see it, Jay. There it is. I like the produce hanging on the bicycle on the right, too. Yeah, yeah. Got a nice detail. I think so. It's nice to see all the yellows and the blues in different shades. It's kind of cool. Muted colors. These muted mm -hmm. colors. Yes. What a what an artistic approach to this. Yeah. It's good storytelling. It makes you think what's going to be for dinner. <laughs> Making me want to do street photography. Go to Cuba. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wait, okay. First Dina is not here. Now she show up twice on my screen. We've got we've got one bald tire on that cart too. Mm -hmm. Oh geez. 
and a knobby tire here. It's it's and maybe maybe a flat. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> thinking. Really something. I love the muted colors. And we're gonna go from there to a sea garden. Titled Sea Garden. Oh wow. That's really cool. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. That's awesome. Where is this? In the sea. Anybody know? No, but I mean it's an aquarium. I think it was either the Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle or the Defiant ah. Zoo. Not in Seattle, but near there somewhere. The crayfish. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> nice and whoever was talking about topaz before, it didn't look exactly like this out of the camera, but I liked it better than the original. <laughs> so I did it. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> this is a great photo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, good uh, clarity yeah. through the uh, tank, the, the glass. Well, I I could it again. Yeah, and he's saying there's no reflection. There's it's a great photo through glass. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I that could never right. take anything. Was that just, really done through glass? Yeah, right? I mean, well, I mean yeah. Really? If it wasn't, Helene's a very good swimmer. <laughs> yeah, right. God, that's amazing. To get that, it, so there's no reflection at all. What control and topaz did you use? Which Sharpening one? Or what? You were right back. I probably started, now I have older versions. Yeah. I have topaz adjust. <laughs> and there's one that I like to use a lot in there called Spicify, and uh, I almost always use AI Clear when I'm done. But I would say that Spicify it brings out uh, a lot of the colors and sharpness. I do it with old wood pictures and rust, and this. It's a special program within Topaz because I mean I. Okay, I originally got a Topaz Suite. It had a bunch of different programs. Topaz Adjust has like a, a bunch of different filters. Hmm. And so this is one of them. And, you and each buy, filter, you, you can also adjust however you want. You can't buy that now. What? You can't what? buy that program now. Be oh, I don't know. I've had it for tried. many, many years. I tried. They They dropped that from their line and... From what I understand, they're going with photo AI. That's going to be yeah, right. their flagship. Yeah. I don't think it allows you to do that kind of fun stuff. Wow. Not to this extent. I have a copy and I'm not thrilled with it. No mm. kidding. Thank you, Jay. I don't know why I have to pay for upgrades to receive fixes to their program as opposed to enhancements. Mm. Nearly yep. too big. Nearly everything that they fixed, I have had problems with. And I finally have like a somewhat stable copy. And my subscription lapsed. And they want me to spend a lot of money to apply more fixes. I wrote them and told them how I feel, and they didn't get my order. <laughs> you know, when I started buying Topaz. Every time they had any kind of an upgrade, it was free. Yeah, for a year, for, I was treated that way too. No, no, for for many years. Okay. Anything that you had, okay. when they had an upgrade, you got it free. Okay, that's a big difference. Yeah, it is. And <laughs> I was pissed when they changed it. Yeah, it's all about subscription, all about money. I'm going to move on yep. to the next photo. I'm getting a little seasick. <laughs> <laughs> Very Ref calm to me. Sheep reflected in pond. <laughs> what? Huh? Yeah. 
<laughs> cool. I don't know if this was a number one or if this is pareidolia. I think pareidolia. It, it's it's both. It, both of my images are um, things that are unusual that you just see. Okay. And what I see here uh, is a sheep that's standing by a pond with its reflection there. That's right. Oh. Uh, yes. but it's on the side it's on the side of a train at travel town at travel town because i have uh, uh, yeah 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 lloyd not bad let me let me just take a moment there's nothing wrong not bad, huh? there's nothing wrong with what's happening here <laughs> nothing wrong with what's happening because this is technically submitted as an open photo but because there is it a was. topic i just want to make it clear Open is always number one. All yeah. One in its if it's special topic and there's more than one of them, it can be a two for the first one, a three, four, five, and six for the next. All oh, okay. There is. I didn't realize that, Jay. That's why I put a one and a two. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. But traditionally, there is only one photo in open and one photo in special topic. But some of you uh, circle know that sometimes the photos are a little bit light for the meeting. Mm -hmm. And if they submit two or three extra, if they number them one, I know it's open. If they number them two, I know it's special topic. Is that kind of clear right now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, number one is always open. Number two is always special mm -hmm. topic. If there's more than a one special topic, you'd be labeled three, four, or even another two. But three or four tells me in what order you want me to present them if I present more than one. See where we're going? You're prioritizing for me. This is an open photo, happens to be Paradoya, and I happen to have the same exact photo, Lloyd. I was at Travel Town too. I even yep. have, I even have, I even have minds, you know? there's a train right next to this one that has an ape in orange color. <laughs> This is paint that was just sanded down and shows that shape. And we'll go on to the next photo, unless we have somebody to speak of this one more. Stargazing. Oh, that's oh. beautiful. Lovely. Beautiful. Okay. okay, I'm floored by this one. Yeah. Great lighting. Beautiful. Beautiful. The lighting is amazing. Yeah. The pollen is giving me a sinus infection. Oh. <laughs> You're telling me, but it's beautiful. It's amazing as well. Right. Just gorgeous. That little red yeah, yeah. Down on the bottom leaf is even yeah. cool. <clears throat> I was just going to point that out that you can see that tiny little speck, even. That's how <laughs> clear it is. Yeah. Yeah. Just, it's a wow photo, just wow. Yeah. Well, I am everything but technical, and uh, I don't know how to deal with lighting and things like that. Um, and it is just a window, the sun going through the window. Don't give up. Just press, give up pressing your... myself against. The lighting is the perfect. Light. You, yeah. are, you knew what you yeah. were knew what you were looking at and you got the camera and kudos to you this is just gorgeous it's gorgeous yeah so sharp yeah, but laura you take a lot of good picture by the window yes i do yeah, i do before. because i don't know how to deal with you know <laughs> those lights and things like that i it's too complicated for me <laughs> obviously you do know how to deal with light because it's beautiful Nora takes the picture yes. by the window. Is she a peeping Tom? <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, yes. <laughs> I'm trying very hard to find fault with it, but I can't. <laughs> you can't. Okay, how about the experts? Do you have uh, do you have any suggestion on how yeah, to water it. improve? Water it. <laughs> just water it. Let it live as long as it can. Wow, this is just a wow photo. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I don't care what the experts have to say. This is gorgeous. Yes, it is. Yeah. 
Well, I do care what the experts have to say. What do they have to say? How dare I say that? There we go. That's how you make everyone quiet. Well, I guess nobody expert, I guess. <laughs> Should I, think I that's have it, um, huh? The wild photo. We're going to see this one again in the newsletter. Yeah. Amen. This is really pretty. Okay, the top, the top petal on the left. Should I have made it a little bit lighter? Yes. No. 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 I think it looks great. Everything is perfect. No. Okay. Everything is perfect. No. And there are no circumstances. There is nothing you can do to improve this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a fat head now. <laughs> That's not, you can't leave the house for a day or two. There is nothing, in my opinion, that you can do to make this better. <laughs> it's already there. I'm yeah. very proud to have this as one of my photos. Very proud. Oh, wow. This, this is gallery uh, quality. Oh, well, thank you. This is dentist office. This is hospital room. This is gallery. This is award-winning. It's just gorgeous. I hope it goes. Okay, let's move to the other next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and our next photo is Una Mexicana. Oh. oh, that's something else. Now, if she was holding a flower. Wow. No, she should uh, put her finger up like one. Oh, really? Uh, uh. Una. Oh, Una. So cute. Una Mexicana. That is so adorable. Mexicana. Yeah. I mean, I I I could have crop in, but it's just like right, it's perfect right underneath that side. Uh Una Mex Me Me Mexicana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a good shot. Excellent. Yes, it is. Actually, see what posing for the road that was uh I, I think i have something similar but i would have to look maybe oh, yeah maybe like she was yeah yes. yeah yes the road is right around right here oh. like a picture of, of her to see okay. what uh posing for the oh. she's just precious this is <laughs> This is really nice. Now Dorota's got to look through our photos really quick and find the one that she took. I will. I'm yeah. sure it won't be as good, but yeah, I will. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not sure that it won't. That child is so adorable. I could eat her up. I love her. Yeah. Yeah, I'd get in trouble if I said that. <laughs> oh, that yep, you would, Jay. I certainly would. Yeah, you would. All right, this is going to be. At least you should have like ketchup. Mm. No, 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 no. Cool. <clears throat> cool. <laughs> yeah, and don't go there. Don't ask me why I said that. <laughs> okay, so I need a different color highlighter now because. I clear my. All right, Con, great picture. Our next one's titled, our next one's titled, Let Me Worry. Yeah. <laughs> that's adorable. I love it. Yeah, them. that's uh, cool. Monkeying around. Oh, yeah. look at that. Oh my goodness. Well, if I didn't know he was in a zoo, I would say he looks so so uh happy and free but it was, like he, it was like he felt it was spa day or something he was oh yeah just stretching out and grinning and he was so funny <laughs> so is, is it the ellie zoo the griffiths yeah. park ellie zoo <clears throat> mm -hmm. any suggestions of how to improve the picture or I don't think it can be improved. It's a great moment. It's a really good moment. 
there's there's not much you can do to to change that this is it's captured a great moment and i thought the blue and the gold kind of across from each other worked okay works really well yeah yes yeah. yes thank you and the space the, the space on the right hand side i actually like it i might tone it down a tiny bit but i like it i like that breathing room you use a long telephoto lens long yes i used a telephoto mm -hmm. uh which one i'm not seeing details on that but oh, oh that's beautiful i thought i put them in. absolutely beautiful yeah, that's good. You're right. The blue and the gold, it really works for it. Yep. Nice contrast. Very nicely done. I mean, sup supple. Okay. It's going to be tough. The whole newsletter is going to be all the photos in this show. <laughs> decisions, decisions. We're moving into the next category of special topic, pareidolia. So the next 11 photos, I think I said, I don't remember now, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 11 photos, pareidolia. Oh. Apple pareidolia. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, uh, wood cabin. Mm. Is Pinocchio? <laughs> oh. Good cat. I hate to admit that I don't really see it. Is um, that the mouth on the on the side, maybe? Yeah, yeah, that's what I see. The mouth on the side. So the right. forehead, the nose, and the mouth. I yeah, see, so it's a profile. You know, yeah. I see deep set eyes. I I I'm kind of going there. That's what I make out of it. I I um, or the eye is over there where you're pointing. Yeah. I'm distracted by this, but I think that's an ear. I think this is it. Yeah, I do. I do. I think this is it. Yes, it's Pinocchio uh. with a small light, a small one. Or if it's upside down, it's the eyes with the mouth and a tongue sticking out. Oh, yeah. I see the tongue right there. Interesting. Mick Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a nice piece of wood definitely there's a mouth here there's a mouth here there's an eyeball here there's deep set eyes. no 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 i there's, think yeah i i'm sorry i i'm you know i went for a walk with my daughter we're in a parking lot for goodness sake everything she looked at was pareidolia she's pointing it at <laughs> <laughs> look at the sign look at the fire hydrant look at this dad look at that i took pictures of all of it she just that's what she sees i planted that seed and told her this is the, the special topic and bam everywhere she looked it was pareidolia i opened up a box of chocolates and she saw it <laughs> but that's a face well, she's very uh, creative the, the, all the milk chocolate look it's shaping a, a face <laughs> Next, speaking of my daughter, clock face. <laughs> yes, I see it. I see it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, opening up its mouth and then this bright light comes out. Right? Copenhagen. That's where she is, and that's the photo she submitted for Paradolia. That's interesting. All right, cool. If you ever saw my no my neighbor Totoro, that looks almost like the cat bus or something. Oh, that's very anime, like an anime. Yeah. And she showed me two pictures. One where this light was over here, and she said, "Dad, it's all about angles." <laughs> You don't, you don't have to, you don't need a telephoto, just move your feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I That's think, nice. I think she nailed it on that one. Crack in the wall, added eye. It's 
unbelievable. It looks like spented. Okay, the eye. eyeball was not there. I saw the face. I put the eyeball in to make sure you can see where the face was. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I kind of wish you didn't share that, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was thinking it was George Washington. <laughs> I was, went for a walk in the morning and I saw that uh, profile and I just said, that's that's it. Yeah, no, the, the, the profile is prominent to me. I actually see it more easily yes. than I do in the app. Yes, definitely. Yeah. But uh, I was going to take off your added eye in your description, but it's okay. It's a crack in the wall with an added eye. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'm not sure I would have seen it without the eye. <laughs> Looks kind of like Abe Lincoln to me. Okay. Yeah, after the after the play. After the play. Oh my. I'm gonna regret I said that. And and the line underneath the maybe the nose makes it look more like cat like or you know. Rabbit, yeah. Yeah, rabbit or something. Yeah. Good. This is good. Good eye. <laughs> Oh boy. Dog tree. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. cute. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. See the paws? That's, that's a nice photo, too. I like it. I like it very much. Yeah. The colors are nice. Dog tree. I like it. It's like a labradoodle. <laughs> <laughs> bork, bork, bork. The border's pretty fun. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes. And yeah, Terry really knows how to fix them up. I was thinking that was Jerry also. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it is, but. It is because I've seen. Uh, this but not as nicely done I, I saw something that was a earlier rendering huh. and, and uh, that's, he's, he takes his camera everywhere and he takes it on a walk and uh i think i know this is an olive tree i think i know right where it is <laughs> on lassen boulevard near topanga huh. and now you will only see dogs that's right <laughs> arf mm. arf That's cute. That's really cute. It sure is. Dried flower face. <laughs> Ooh. With a tongue sticking out. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me shrink it a little bit. The pictures rendered a lot better last month. I got to go back to that way of doing it. These are fitting the screen funny. Everybody sees the photos okay, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Okay. Can somebody help me with the, the face or whatever it is? Art drawing. The, the, two, the, uh, the two black seed areas are eyes. And the other thing hanging down between them is his nose, and then his mouth is the oh. uh, the leaf underneath. Oh, okay. And it's got kind of a motley hat on. Ah, oh, oh yes. Okay, I didn't see yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what are you smoking? That's like Phyllis Diller. <laughs> Phyllis Diller, how funny. That's stretching it. This is hemp. <laughs> That's a stretcher. This is a hemp plant in the backyard. Yeah, I like the photo. Yeah, I do. Wow. I, I like the fuzziness on the leaf. Yes. Right, where am I? Pretty. I think I'm at photo number twenty. Probably. Yeah, good photo, Lloyd. Thank you. Next photo is titled "Furry Friends." Oh, furry. Mm. 
Oh, oh, yeah. oh look at the dog. This is just adorable. That's a good one. Oh, <laughs> That's a good one. A Labrador. Not for a the black car. Labrador. Not yes. for the car with the oil leak. I can see the driveway. Nice. I'm afraid to ask why the pavement was wet. <laughs> So the As question well is, do you, see, do you see one or two things? I see two. I see two. I see two. I only see one. I it looks like one. an oil spot, not, not water. Yeah. I see two. I see two. Well, the, the furry was there. The furry frame was there, so that's why it's wet. Oh, right. I can see the cat. So I when, I see the, when I took I the, the picture, cat. I saw the dog. Yes. I, but then when I, I had shown Dorota, and that's when I saw the cat. I didn't see yeah. it initially. Um, and this oh, is it, no. it was just a random photo on the street. I saw it and I took it. And that's wow. with my cell phone. Mel, can I flip it? Sure. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. A a rabbit. Rabbit. Oh. Rabbit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. A multi-use creature. Flip it again. <laughs> Let me flip it again. No, no, wait. I see the rabbit. <laughs> oh, that looks well, like that's a, a, fish. Oh, with a nose. Got a fish. Somebody with a nose. <laughs> with, with lots of hair. <laughs> yes. Snoopy. Yeah. Let me flip it again. Amazing. Whose is this again? A dead rabbit. Huh. Mel. Uh. Mel, I like it like this. I like that. I like this. So yeah, I never saw the rabbit. I like it. That's cool. So that's my only suggestion. Mm -hmm. that's a rabbit. The orientation. <laughs> yeah, but the old, can you still see the cat though? Yeah. I it see looks more like a sock the... now. <laughs> yeah. I, I did, yeah. This is fun. The other one, you see both the cat. dog and the cat. Now, Mel, how do I publish this one? The way you handed it to me or this way? The oh, other I don't way know. What, what, what does the group think? What uh, do you like best? I'll just do it both ways. The heck with it. Right. I like the original I like one. I like it the other way. Yeah, the original one is nice. Right. Yeah, because oh. then you see the dog in the, you in, call in the, the cat. Yeah. Cat. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that way. Yeah. Yeah, it keeps you the contrast of dog and cat. Good job, Mel. Very good. One potato. They caught my eye. Thanks. One potato, two. <laughs> ah, oh. That is the best. Oh, I love it. I love it too. Really? It looks so cute. It's, it's almost, almost like, like a moon. You know though, right? <laughs> I'm just thinking Pet Rock made it pretty big. Maybe Pet Potatoes can make it pretty big. <laughs> so how did it taste? It was good. It was mashed potatoes. Tastes like good. chicken. Yes, tastes like chicken. <laughs> Teen spirit. Wow. Nice. Was this apparent to you before the pareidolia special topic and you have this photo in the archives or did this just show itself? Uh, it showed itself at the market after you said how, how cool you wanted that? what you wanted. How cool, is that? how cool is that? I like your title, one potato, two. Two potatoes, three. <laughs> I like it. I like um, it. Yes, and then just like your daughter, I, I, I notice a lot more mm -hmm. since you mentioned. And are you going to? I don't know how, the paranoia. <laughs> Paradolia. Are you going to tell me that this is window light? <laughs> are you going to tell me it's a smartphone photo? Not. Oh, it's not. Not this one. No, I don't think so. No, no, I think it was my real camera. It's a Canon <laughs> Yes. That's your yes. artificial one? <laughs> yes, it was. It, it, it was halfway the window in the kitchen, in the kitchen sink, and halfway the light under 
the counter yeah. in a kitchen, you know, under the, not, not under the counter, under the cupboards. And it looks like you have it on a black. Uh, uh, yes, I had a, a black jacket there. Yeah, wonderful. Really good for the contrast. I, I like what you did. Okay, okay. thank you. Again. And the mashed potatoes were very good. It was very good. I got the newsletter. I'm just going to publish the photos. Mm -hmm. Prickly Traveler. Prickly Traveler. It's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah adorable i like that one a oh, lot it's uh, really it's really whimsical hmm. yeah actually you could be quickly travelers with an s because i see more and more travelers okay go back to your potato Laura. what if you zoom in on the one with the uh, dark in the face Probably, yeah. Looks like he has a yeah. cracked cranium. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, th that would be haunting. Cracked like... cranium prickly traveler. <laughs> yeah, his buddies are in the background, huh? I was, yes. I was not you, but I wanted to make He's sure. He's in a group. Looks like, yeah. looks like they're, at they're at some dance. They're at some dance. I'm not going to turn this one upside down or on its side either. <laughs> oh, come on. That's a fun photo. I love the green against the blue. Mm -hmm. I like that you did a, what's it called? Vineyard. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's fun. Rock faces. Yes, the scream. <laughs> Isn't it the scream? Yeah. <laughs> I see a. Uh, you know how they have like the the skeleton of the bowl on on some of the like Western things. That's what I see. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. I. I don't know that I understand the vignette on this one. It brings you right on in. Yeah, it does. But I also feel like I'm missing something. Could be a planet. Yeah, I, I, I want to wander <laughs> here and see what's here, but it's, it's not a criticism. I'm having a hard time seeing Skeleton. this one. <laughs> I like this face right Skeleton. here. Where, where, where's the face? Guys, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. yeah this is, pretty, this mm. is definitely screen. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Thank you. Definitely. Wow. Oh, really? Because like the the right, there's two more eyes and kind of a nose too. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. When I was looking at this, I actually thought it was like Jerry, you know, from Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> there's kind of a wombat right here too. Do you see it? This wing and this wing and this figure. Uh -huh. Hmm. Yeah, this is a nose. This oh, is a, yes. This is, yes. this is a nose. You see it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I, I, I don't know how to clear it. And then there's a bird with a big beak on the right, top right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, a little lower. But, uh, there is the beak yeah. right there. Below That's the cool. I see that. Yeah. Down. <laughs> Where's Waldo? Oh, there he's over there in the left. <laughs> this just proves we're all a little demented now. <laughs> it's Rorschach. Yes. Rorschach test. Yeah. Well, tell me about your life after looking at this. Yeah. <laughs> if this was an ink blot, I would tell my psychiatrist he needs a new pen. Did anyone get that? <laughs> Yes, I got it. Spot on. Now, we've got the next photo coming up titled Tommy the Truck. <laughs> yeah, it's a truck. With a face. 
Yeah. Mm, yeah. I'm... What is it though? I mean, what are we looking at? I think it's and supposed it to look like a face. It looks like face. a truck, but what is it? Two rectangular eyes and kind of a pig nose. That's what I see. Uh-huh. And a Hitler mustache. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, I'm not putting it in the newsletter. Whistling wood. And that was not an insult, by the way, just not putting it in a newsletter. Whistling wood. Huh. Wow. <laughs> it's like a wolf. I like that. A fox. That's very fox cool. Could be. It's like a monkey <laughs> face. Yeah. Was, was, it make sure a, was this just on a tree or where was it? Yes, it was on a tree. That's very cool. <laughs> Is this guy saying boo? <laughs> and you you didn't give him the black eyes, huh? <laughs> no, no, but I was kind of wishing I could find a cigarette to stick in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's our last photo. It's like, it's like Dorothy going out into the forest and you know, this is who she meets, right? Yeah. Gotta be careful. Well, I've I've read that that uh, this bit about seeing faces in trees is extremely common and is responsible for people in Europe believing that that the forests have uh, spirits, wood sprites, yeah. and yeah. ghosts yeah. and stuff. Don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I think they do. <laughs> in fact, I think there's um, some towns in Europe where they built around the trees because they don't want to disrupt the the sprites. Yeah. And so you you have a sidewalk that goes up to the tree and then kind of goes around, around and it. continues. Yeah. It's just kind of wild. Yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, Nora, I'm looking in a chat and there's quite a few suggestions to print that photo of yours on metal. I would do that. I would do that. Now, Deanna. Hard times, people want to hear the backstory. Do I go back to the photo and you tell the backstory? Or, oh, or, yes, or, yes. or do I take it offline and we do that? Either way. Yeah, I'm going to take it offline and do that. So this was the uh, final photo in our group of photos. And I thank everyone that shared. It was a fun experience. And it always is. <laughs> stop the share now. If I can figure out how, I don't know why I can't stop the share. There we go. <laughs> and I'm going to go back. Well, I'm first going to stop the meeting's recording. Bye, YouTube land. See you. Hope you enjoyed our meeting. You can join.